Hi there. Today I'm going to show you how to create or schedule a Zoom class. So first thing I want to do is go into my course. So list courses. I can always find it under my classes or my courses, but in this case, I'm simply going to go into a course. And the course is Evo MC Ongoing Community. I'm going to turn editing on at the top right because I have rights as a teacher or manager. Click on that, wait a few seconds, and then I'm going to decide where I want it. So let's say I want it in the first week under this section. I will add it under an, add an activity or resource over here. Or if I want it elsewhere, I can do it there. But I'll show you how that's done from here. Okay, week one. So I'm going to, as you saw, I went into add an activity or resource. That's how we add activities and resources on the Moodle. Now this is an activity. Yes, Zoom is an activity. It may seem kind of funny, but that's how it's added to Moodle as a, a plugin. So I'm going to click on it. There you get an explanation. And then I'm going to do what I always do when I add an activity or resource. Click on the add button right there. Wait a few seconds, depending on my internet connection, but it should go quite quickly. I'm screen sharing using screencast tematic Sometimes screen sharing takes a load, so that takes longer. But generally, it should go quite quickly. I'm going to call this test, test one, in case somebody else is using it. I'm not going to add a description, but I am going to have this um, right now, if I can. Notice it says webinar recurring. You can get explanation of what that is by going into the question mark. But in this case, I'm simply going to click on webinar. This is all of it to pre-authorize Zoom accounts. So uh, in this case, I'm going to get the host and this off. Um, I think that's it. Um, so uh, I'll add everything here. Enable join before host. Okay, I should be able to do that. And then alternative host. This I can add if I've got an account that allows this. Otherwise, I'm going to leave that. And then grade. I'm not going to grade anyone. Common module settings. I don't have uh, groups here. Restrict access. No activity completion. I'm going to leave that. Do not indicate. And that's it. I'm good to go. But this is a very important step. So save and display. You'll be able to see it right away. Or save and return to course. It's up to you which one you go through. But they all add the zoom. So here goes again, depending on your connection, of course. There it is. Okay, now I can start meeting, but if I had scheduled a meeting for a later date, it wouldn't say start meeting. It would just leave it. The start meeting only happens when the time comes up, and the time is now. So uh, next is going to start meeting. So let's do that and see how that goes. Okay, so it's coming. Okay, so there is the Zoom. Hi there. Did I hear anyone? Not sure if I heard anyone, but it says I'm muted. Hi there. Is anybody there? No, it's only me. All right. So um, these are the features of Zoom. I'm not going to show you how that's done, but the class is open and ready to go. So I hope this has been of help and you try it yourself and see how it works for you. I forgot to mention that the recording will be available in the same place. So that's nothing you have to worry about.